Hello, hello everyone. Welcome back to another Magic the Gathering Commander review video. We are finishing up the Mirage set with a few more cards. And today we're talking about Tani Hua, or Tani Hua. I'm not exactly sure how to emphasize the H in this name. Um, and as per usual, it's been a hot second since I did one of these recordings. So I don't have <laughs> my phone ready to read the oracle texts of these cards but that's okay because we can easily fix that okay tani wa is a legendary serpent it's a seven seven it costs three generic mana and two blue mana and it has trample phasing which reads um this phases out um, this phases in or out before your untap during each of your untap steps. While it is phased out, it's treated as though it doesn't exist. Uh, for anyone who's been playing this game for a long time, you know what phasing is. Uh, or if you're pretty new to the game, um, there was a card called Teferi's Protection and several other cards since then that have introduced or rather reintroduced phasing back into the game uh, but that is the rule of phasing and then also it has at the beginning of your upkeep all lands you control phase out they phase in before you untap during your untap step so pretty heavy downside there for a 7-7 with trample that costs five mana to have your lands all the way phase out but one of these deck ideas we're actually going to play around with that and have some fun Oh, Boop. bring in my mouse here real quick. Okay, no card rulings on Tani Wa. Just remember that phasing is phasing out and in before the untap of the untap step. Uh, and also, phasing does not like count towards entering the battlefield. It doesn't leave play. It just counts as not existing. Uh, like it's turned invisible almost. Um. So a card that synergizes with Taniwa is Sunder, because if you wait until your lands are going to like phase out, um, then you can you can uh, Sunder everyone's lands away. Uh, and the and the best way to do this is by like getting some mana rocks out, so you can use those as mana, and then while your lands are phased out, you can board wipe everyone else essentially. Now, the deck that I am playing Tani Wa in is a, a sea creatures deck full of Krakens, Leviathans, Serpents, Octopuses, and so on and so forth. So, full of tons of synergies for that, ways to quickly play Tani Wa. And for the most part, Tani Wa is going to be more of an end game card for this deck because obviously phasing out my lands uh, does slow me down a little bit. So I want to make sure that I'm saving that card for the end, for big punishing damage. But I'll have some tricks up my sleeve to punish my opponents as well. And then if you really wanted to take advantage of the phasing, um, you could do Leyline of Anticipation. So you can play everything at instant speed. Um, Shimmer, uh, if you want to do a little bit of a control meta, if you're going up against someone who's predominantly a different color and you wanted to mess with their lands as well as your lands being messed with, you can uh, phase those in and out. And then, if you play correctly and you build correctly, you can do the famous World Slayer uh, destroying the board. World Slayer, I will say, is one of my favorite cards ever made in this game. Um, when it first got printed, and I don't remember if it was 2012, uh, set that it first came out in but I do remember when this card came out and getting my hands on one and man it was just so cool I just thought it was insane that you would just destroy all other permanents uh, I love it it's, it is fantastic one of my favorite cards ever printed so obviously what you want to do is uh, be able to get this on Taniwa wait till your lands phase out then use World Slayer with the Trample on Taniwa, blow up the entire board, and then when your lands phase back in, 
they uh, you'll be able to play your commander, play your board, but instead of just phasing your opponent's lands out, you're actually going to be able to just destroy everything and force them to start the game over. So pretty much at that point, you will win. Uh, it is phenomenal uh, and will blow out the board so easily. Lastly, um, is just doing a Voltron build. Tani Watt is at that nice sweet spot of seven power. So give it a little bit more power. Since it's blue, it's very easy to make it uh, unblockable. And you can give it protections like with totem armor. And let's give it some double strike so we can quickly eliminate our opponents. Um, you know, uh, just a traditional Voltron build. But with blue, you're able to do things like unblockable and stuff, which is very handy. And that is going to do it for Taniwa. Very simple, very straightforward. This can be a phasing commander. There's not a lot of phasing, um, like, modern cards that are specifically phasing focus just in blue. So you will have to play with some of the old phasing cards, which are not as good as the new phasing cards. Um, and phasing is such an interesting mechanic, it can be complex to play with. So you have to be careful if you're going to be playing with Taniwa as your commander because half the game, once Taniwa is out, you're not going to have lands available to you. So you have to be careful of how you use your mana, uh, how many mana rocks you're going to have to supplement the loss of mana. All in all though, I think Taniwa would be a very interesting commander, especially if you did a phasing deck. Uh, I think you'd have a lot of fun. Very simple, straightforward build if you were going to do a Voltron deck, and it's in blue so you can have a lot of protections to give it hexproof, counter spells, so on and so forth. Uh, and of course, you can build a World Slayer phasing shenanigans deck where you are just repeatedly blowing up the board and your opponents cannot play the game, which is terrible for them, but man, you are going to love the power of wielding that sword. It is so cool. So. Let me know in the comments below if there's anything I missed. Thank you guys so much for watching, and as always, I'll see you in the next one. Bye!